Okay, here we go. So it's time to set about making these um, rendered images look really cool and then getting a batch render done so we've got a really sexy looking animation. Yes. Okay, so job number one into the render settings window. Right, under the common tab, we need to change a few things. Image format, I never ever use the Maya Rift format. Um, there's nothing wrong with the format itself, it's just that external applications don't play with it very well. So I'm a fan of the Targa. Um, I also need to make sure my frame and animation extension is set to. Now, if you're using my file for this, it, by default it's wrong. I don't know why, but it's not the one you want. You want name dot number dot extension. And that means that you can import it into external applications and it'll work um, really well. Okay. Um, start and end frame can be whatever you want. I would always recommend just doing a test render of 10 frames first, but when you're happy with it, you can render the lot. So I'm going to do 720. Uh, and the first camera I'm going to render is I'll do camera one, which is that one that was static. And then for my preset, I'm going to render it out at a resolution of HD 720. You can go higher if you're feeling courageous and adventurous uh, and you've got plenty of time, but um, this is going to take quite a while to render and I want to get it finished. So 720 is fine for me. Okay, into the my software quality, we're going to go for at least production quality. Turn ray tracing on. Uh, now I've not got any lights that are casting shadows. Um, I don't really need them for this. Um, but if you have, then shadows will look nicer. You could add a second light to represent the sun or something like that. Um, but it's more things like your reflections on the glass will work when you've got your ray tracing on. The other thing that you need to look at, now for me I know that it's turned on by default, but it might not be for you. Make sure you've got a tick in the box for motion blur. The main reason that you want motion blur in this project is your propeller. Um, otherwise, you'll be able to see um, that that they, they just stay sort of really kind of in focus, which we don't want. We want it to look like they're moving really quickly. So turn the motion blur on, put a 3D blur on, and then leave the rest of the settings. They should be fine for what we're doing. Okay, and you can leave everything else alone. So we'll close that for now, and then we'll do a test render of one frame, just to see that we're happy with the resolution and the overall quality. So you can see this, this here is what I meant by the motion blur. You can see that it looks like it's moving fast. Yeah, so I'm I'm really happy with how that's coming out. I think that was really nice. So what I'll do now is I'll actually check the um, the camera that I want to render, which is this one. So again, I'll choose a shot where it kind of goes past the sun. Where is that one? Oh, wow. Okay, so I'll just do a quick test render of this one. <laughs> Can't even see it, but I'm sure it'll look lovely when it's rendered out as an animation. Okay, so what we can do now is actually let this um, batch render. So I always, just to be safe, make sure that the camera I'm looking through is the one I want to render before I do a batch render. I've also in my render settings set it to be camera one that I'm going to render. And then I can change my animation set to rendering. And then all you need to do is click on render, um, batch render. And it will start then rendering your 720 frames into um, the images folder of the project. So I'll just let this get started and show you where it's putting them. It shows you the overall percentage of each frame. So it's going to go through this process 720 times in uh, in my case. So off it goes. I'll just show you now where it's putting these images. So if I have a look in my motion paths project file, in the images folder, you can see that these images are now being created. Okay, so you need to do this for your first camera. You then need to go through the process again for the second camera. Um, and it'll put those probably in um, a separate folder. Probably. Or you might just need to put these in a folder first just to keep them safe. Uh, and then once you've done that, um, that's the exercise finished. So all I will show you in the next video is how to preview this animation in fcheck um, if you want to turn it into video then you can either run it through uh, an editing program such as adobe premiere or you can render it out to video and if you look through my early videos um, i have got a, a video there that explains how you can render to avi um, if you want that
Okay, so I'll just see you in the next video um, for how to preview your animation. And then we'll be done. Hooray!